Hi guys, I'm Alora. And I'm Anthony. And we are the, the Day Caleros. Caleros. Thanks so much for tuning into our channel. Mm -hmm. Today we are going to be talking about what is a doula and our experience with having a doula. For those of you who are new, we have a now four month old daughter named Astra and we did have her at home. Make sure you go ahead and check out our home birth story. Mm -hmm. We'll link it somewhere up here. This video is going to be all about how we experienced a doula during our home birth. So yeah. keep on watching. We're gonna start with the first question. What's the first question? What is a doula? A doula is someone who helps you from before conception, through your pregnancy, and sometimes after. Um, so that's super, Covers super it. vague, but it really is true. Doulas do so much. It's really hard to kind of categorize them into one thing right. because depending on your doula, um, she can do so many different things. In uh, traditional indigenous culture, um, there were women who helped other women go through the birthing process to get to a certain point. Now, doulas today help in similar ways where they can help through conception if you're not able to conceive right. um, by offering different remedies that tend to help. Right. Helping through the actual pregnancy from maybe morning sickness um, remedies to... Cer like stretches. Um, yeah, different exercises. Exercises, getting her ready for the... <laughs> for the process is another <laughs> part of the stretching exercise. She um, informed she me of different ways to help with my perineum. That's perineum, yeah, try, so. Try to keep it scientific, is it? <laughs> so. <laughs> she helped out with the lady parts, made sure everything was good. She told me everything I needed to know, so I was aware. So. Right, she was just super helpful, super informational. So when we went through that process, we kind of just talked to her more about our fears, mm -hmm. more about the different things that we didn't know, we had questions about. We had, what, five sessions with her before? Four or five sessions before. We had the birth, of course, and after the birth, she came back, I think a couple of times as well. And then now we actually have another Appointment. Yeah, now that Ash is about four months, we have another appointment with her. Yeah. So that's a mouthful to say the least. Doulas do so much work, so it's kind of hard for me to put it in these small terms of what they actually do. But they just help mom do everything, include involving the baby, but as well as involving her mental and physical health. Right. Um, it's about mom and emotional and health. baby. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of the times moms are left by the wayside you need that person who's going to just be there for you to make sure that your wishes during your pregnancy are fulfilled because these midwives and doctors they work with a lot of people so they may not get everything right and a lot of the times they just do what is protocol that can leave you somewhere you don't want to be if you don't voice your your concerns or the different things that you're wanting to create for your birth. Um, so the duel is kind of like your person to be there in case you need them. And you will, <laughs> because you're gonna be birthing. You're gonna be focused on birthing and that's what you need to be focused on. <clears throat> so during that whole process, she really did help me, made sure that my wishes were um, intact, like keeping the placenta attached to baby. Perineum, made sure that my, my perineum, because that was one of my biggest things. I did not want to take it at all. Right. It was like my, honestly, my only fear was tearing and she ensured that she could help me as much as she could and I ended up not tearing, which is a blessing. For dad, I know that she's completely different. I'm gonna give the floor to Anthony to tell what is she bring to his table. I knew that we had a coach for both of us. I never had a baby before, so it was my first go around at it and I didn't know everything. She knew a lot of everything and a lot of it was natural too, so I liked that aspect of it. So she helped me kind of stay aware of what Alora's going through, what she may need. I asked her silly questions like, so if 
she wants something at this time that I should just go get it. And she was like, yes. And I was just like, okay. Was I like that though? I was no, no, no. But I was asking show. her these questions because I learned about that just from TV, TV or people. Mm -hmm. So she was really much, she was more, more of a coach to me. Um, and, uh, you know, I appreciated her and everything that she was helping me out, especially during, on the day of, you know, she came in, she kept me calm. Cause I was like, I was staying calm, but at the same time, my insides were like, felt like just going like, it's true. It's true. I was more concerned you, for her than I was for especially me. Especially with your first child and you don't know what to and expect. It's a, and it's a home birth. Mm -hmm. So the home birth thing, like she really just helped mesh that well. Um, like with the right. knowledge, she the emotions. She was so much help. She, she just rounded really it was. all off. Yeah. It was incredible. So yeah, for me, that that's where she came in and kept me in track. We actually were going through um, a weight pause moment because... My doula, my midwife hadn't arrived yet, so my doula was helping me breathe. Right. She was helping me calm down through the whole process mm -hmm. and just keeping my cool. Mm -hmm. She also showed me different ways beforehand to relieve pain and pressure. She came right before the birth, and I think because she came, my birthing experience was much faster than it would have been had she not come. So yeah, that was a really big, like thing for me that I knew that she really did help my progression along. Shout out to Athena. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate so it. So flow doula, but I'm going to link everything. Yeah, everything will be down below. Worry. So we're going to get into that. So um, why we chose to get a doula, I think we kind of covered that yeah, a little. We, we really chose because of the fact that we really didn't know what we were doing and we were having a home birth and we needed somebody to speak. And in the middle of us that knew right. more information and could teach us things that we right. didn't know about. For the birth, we um, had about four classes that we took with her. Mm -hmm. Stretching, different partnering classes, breastfeeding class. Yeah. Because breastfeeding, a lot of people are just so afraid of the birth, they forget about the after. And they haven't really learned exactly what what's happening to your body. And, how your body does these things because the placenta right. leaving your body is what tells your body to start creating milk. So a lot of people don't realize that it's not a just influx of milk. It's going to slowly happen and hope slowly change. She made you more comfortable. She definitely did. Breastfeeding is a whole process in itself. So if you choose to breastfeed or if you want to breastfeed, if that's something that you desire to do, then really just going into learning about the different things that happen right. are very important and then after birth she came and she gave me a massage and mm -hmm. yeah there were just so many things just depending on your experience you might need something different than i needed but yeah we had a bath and, just, and, and, she, and she checks up on her just yes. to make sure her mental is fine make oh, sure her mom is good you know for sure we talk definitely so. and that is amazing so a lot of people think that doulas can't do hospital births I don't know what that whole thing was, but they definitely can. And sure. just depending on who you who you want, your doula is going to advocate for whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But they, you don't have mediator. to be having a home birth to right. have a doula. So having a hospital birth, having a birth at a at a birthing center, doulas can do it all. Sometimes they even do video calls where if you're not able to have more than one person in the room because of right. the situation right now during COVID. Um, that you're not allowed to have more than one person, doulas can be on the phone with you and and be there and be your help and guide through the process right. during that time. So you can definitely find that. I think that that really kind of just sums it up. My last thing was, do we recommend having a doula? For sure. I, yeah. I think it, she's a mediator between you, your midwife, or your healthcare provider. Like. As both of us going through the birth together. Right. Uh, it was a I, lot of emotions from us, so we needed somebody who was like level headed and neutral. To keep everything sort of in check, at least during the birth. Right. You know, and, and even afterwards, because I, I had to do paperwork, so, but I knew that she was okay, Alora was okay, because uh, our doula Athena, she was just checking up on her, make sure baby was good, make sure she was latching. Like I didn't have to sit there. Right. I could just focus on the paperwork at the moment, you know? If she wasn't there, I would have felt the need to go back and forth, back and forth, and it would have been not, not impossible, but I appreciate having that extra help. You know? Yeah, definitely. Especially for being a first dad, you know, it was essential. Yes. <laughs> she looked out for my baby. Mm. 
my babies. Yeah, it was it was really incredible, you guys. Like we're now living back into it, so you have to pardon us a little bit. But um, yes, I would highly, highly recommend having a doula. There is right. no question about it. If you can get one, please get one. And a lot there's a lot more birth workers that are coming and becoming. You don't have to have any type of certification if you really wanted to be a doula. Just some classes would be great. But um, we'll link that in the bio. Yeah, all the will. information. Yes, we, we will. If you're in South Florida, we will give you all that information. Or if you want to come to South Florida, we'll give you all the information that you need so that you can check that out, become a doula, mm -hmm. and learn more about it. Just make sure to comment, you know, send us a DM. Yeah, if you guys, um, if we didn't answer your question, we're sorry. There's so much. But please let us know if you have any further questions down in the comments. We'd be glad to answer. Yeah. And if it's something that's more detailed, we'd love to make another video about it. So, For sure. Yeah, even after Astra's four months, we're still being checked up on, which is great because, like, you need more than just the six weeks. Right, this is like, like, like a year, really. It's, really, you do. You do need a full year. Like, it's such a change. Like, you go oh, from not having a baby to having a baby. It's like, whoa. Especially and even, during this time. Right, right. Exactly, where you don't have that, that crowd of people around you, like that, that village that's mm -hmm. so usual. You do need that person that you can just call on at any time and just... Come, so. Figure it out, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But that is it, you guys. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. Mm -hmm. And give this a big, big, big thumbs up if you made it this far. You're a trooper. We Thank love you, you so much. Yes. Okay, bye, family. Peace. Peace. We're trying, we're trying new things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta get to a Laura's height real quick so we can so be on camera. Stay tuned for more. Yes. Yes. yes.